These tiny creatures may be small in size, but the damage they cause is enormous. Neglected tropical diseases. Parasitic and bacterial infections that thrive in remote tropical places. They kill 170,000 people every year. But their biggest impact is on the millions they disable and disfigure. Every time I stand up and work, it swells up. I pray to God that nobody else gets it. Neglected tropical diseases affect over a billion people in the world. That's one in seven people being held back across 149 different countries. And yet they are all treatable. If we try and reduce the diseases which can be cured easily, that alleviates the impact on the health system. If we don't eliminate NTD, we are stuck with poverty. These are the diseases which can be eliminated by some extra effort. And I firmly believe, why not? Five years ago, the World Health Organization set out a roadmap to beat these diseases by bringing together existing efforts under the London Declaration. There's a history of involvement, donations, and many of the burdens have come down. But in fact, they haven't come down nearly far enough. To step up efforts, global organizations, drug donors and governments from affected countries came together and pledged to eliminate 10 of these diseases by 2020. Under the London Declaration, pharmaceutical partners have collectively donated over 10 billion tablets since 2012. By donating these drugs, we are helping to improve the lives of many people. Something that uh, we are very proud of. With the support of a wide network of logistical partners, ministries of health and local NGOs, treatments are getting to some of the remotest communities around the world. For elimination to be effective, programmes need to be fully integrated at every level. Zanzibar and Pemba Islands off the coast of Tanzania have four neglected tropical diseases that have held them back for many years. But thanks to a dedicated NTD programme, they have seen recent success. The advantage with the islands are it's, it's a small place. Um, you could have an intervention which would have impact. Initially, we used to have different vertical programmes. But in 2009, the Ministry of Health decided to integrate all these programs so we could have value for money, as well as building the capacity of the resources which we have. As part of Zanzibar's control and elimination program, children across the island are treated for soil-transmitted helminths and schistosomiasis, two crippling NTDs that cause huge discomfort and can slow learning and development in children. People from the Ministry of Health teach us about these diseases. They explain why they make us feel tired and how to prevent them. With this knowledge, I can now teach people in my community so we can all beat these diseases together. Zanzibar's programme has seen a significant decrease of NTDs across the islands. And there are many countries that are already reaching their elimination goals, with new reported cases for some diseases at an all-time low. To achieve elimination of NTDs, two, three components are very important. One is political commitment. Second thing, leadership of government, of the different states. And third is community participation. Thanks to the dedication of community volunteers working around the world, 991 million people received preventative treatment in 2015 alone. But there are still millions around the world who remain untreated. And only until every last person is reached can we truly hope to eliminate these diseases. There's hope. 
because we have the drugs. We are working with the government because it's important that these donated drugs are not just on the shelf. We need to make sure that people get it. Elimination is possible. We are seeing the results. We are seeing the success stories and, and our community are really appreciated. We are on the path to achieve the goals. But only achieving elimination is not the target. We have to sustain. Only with continued support and expanded partnerships can we beat these diseases for good, unlocking enormous potential and benefit to people around the world.